And what can you, you know, take with you as you go forward? Incredible. I think um, I was talking to a few people this weekend. I think it's just a great little boost of confidence for the offense going into the end of this year. Obviously, Sid Burson's never gonna be giving up those numbers again, right? We know who she is. We know what she's capable of. But for the offense to know that we're capable of that too, I think was a huge, huge boost for us. So going down the stretch, you know, you give a couple runs in the first inning, you give a couple runs in the second inning, there's no need to panic, right? We can call back on those swings and on those games and – know exactly what we're capable of and find confidence from that for sure it was awesome it's early in the year but to beat a top 10 team like Oklahoma State what does that do for you guys I think it just proves to proves to everybody what we already knew I think we know this team is incredibly talented we know that we're we've talked about it before we're very old we're very experienced and so to come out and be able to do what we're capable of so early in the year is a great vote of confidence and just something to build on going forward it's my understanding they've been trying to kind of bulk Raylene up over the years and it hasn't stuck, but finally it, it has, and now she's got the power. Have you seen that? Absolutely. Um, there's nobody who is more easy to be happy for her success than Raylene. So we're all thrilled to see her doing what she's doing. We're all excited that she's having the year we all knew she was capable of and definitely been trying to bulk her up. She looks great, um, but we're just happy that she's successful. And obviously it's been a huge help to us. She's probably been the best hitter we have thus far, and that's huge knowing some of the other names that we have in this lineup. Yeah, that's a pretty big deal. Um, what was going through your mind during that grain slam on Friday? It's so funny, actually. Um, I was just talking about this. So I really just wasn't seeing it well, right? I think it's so awesome that I can have a terrible day at the plate and we put up 13 runs, right? Incredible, just a, a testament to what this offense is capable of and how good they are. But I actually got in the box my that last at bat and was like, you know, I'm not seeing it well. Maybe, maybe I'll take the first pitch. And then I was like, Nah, nah. <laughs> um, but just an awesome, uh, an awesome team who surrounds me with so much confidence. They're like, I like that. About's over. Carly Petty and I have talked all year about being goldfish, uh, the happiest animal in the kingdom, because a short memory that they have. So uh, a testament to her and this team for continuing to push me towards what I can do and never let me like get down on myself enough to waste it at bat. And like you said, how that was like a bad day for you. Do you feel that even though you can put up those numbers on a bad day, that that's going to prepare you on now being in the top six? Yeah, I think so. I think um, it just doesn't really matter what kind of day you're having. you got to figure out a way to get it done, um, especially on a day like Carly was talking about where the ball's flying a little bit, where tons of runs are getting put up. Um, you just got to find a way to get it done, and I think our offense did such a great job of that. We scored runs in a lot of different ways. Like, we had the long ball. We hit some of those. We, we had so many short game singles. We had a bunch of doubles that were hit. We've walked like a million times. So I think just the offense finding different ways to score is huge down the stretch because you're not always going to have it. You're not always going to see it well. You're not always going to get the ball out of the park. Um, but finding different ways to score was huge. And this weekend coming up, just uh, continuing the momentum. Uh, weather's going to be good. Great to play softball. Yeah, we are. Um, we always love being in Tiger Park. I think these are the best fans in college softball. And to get to play at home, uh, especially in February, where other teams maybe don't get to, is a huge advantage for us. And we really appreciate it. Um, hope people will come out, fill the new purple seats, and hang out and watch the Tigers play. I, I love this team and what I think we're capable of. So just trying to keep it rolling and keep doing the things that have made us successful up to this point. Do you talk to the gymnasts, the gymnastics girls at all? Yes. Do you kind of see parallels, like maybe this is the time? Like. Yeah, I think the gymnastics team is one of my favorite teams on campus. I have a lot of a lot of friends there, and I think the softball team is probably their biggest fans in the world. We had Rose reserved at the last home meet, so uh, we do a really good job of trying to support them, and they come out to Tiger Park for us a lot. But I think they've certainly inspired us to continue to do well, right? They had the one year that it was – not the year that anybody expected them to have, and I think you can see that in maybe the year that we had last year, right? But just for them to come out and, like, from the jump, be really good and incredibly confident in what they can do is certainly something that we can take from them and something that we should.